Welcome back to Unicorn Funland. If this is your first time with me, welcome! I'm Michaela Andromeda, and I'm gonna do your monthly general reading for November 2018. Let's get it. All the information that you need about my channel, about my website, if you want to book a reading, my social media, my GoFundMe campaign, all of that information is right down below in the description, and you can check that out at your discretion. But I think we should just go ahead and get into it. I already put your mojo on the cards. Libra. Uh-oh. Chills in my heart chakra. Chills in my crown chakra. What's going on, Libra? Libra. November 2018. Am I... It's pretty sunny out today, so I got a little glare on my glasses. I can still see you. I still feel you. Libra spirit. November 2018. There's one. Okay. 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 It flipped over. Y'all know I don't like to really look at them, but oh, there's two. Two came out. Didn't see those. Spirit said that one. One on the bottom, this one first though, this one here, this one on the bottom, okay. 12 cards as usual. Uh -huh. Damn. Damn. This is the overall energy. Sometimes it comes out in the reading and sometimes it's just on the bottom. And Spirit said this time it's on the bottom. This is the overall energy, okay? So here's isolation. We don't want to isolate. Whatever it is that you're going through, Libra, um, this is not this is not going to be a month to keep to yourself, really. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. This is your first card. This is the first week of the month, November 2018 for Libra. So you may be feeling like um, you're not where you want to be yet. General reading, guys. You may be feeling like you're not where you want to be yet. Or that somebody has more than you. Or even if somebody has less than you. You may be feeling... Um, Maybe some of you are feeling a little high and mighty above other people. But what you should remember, this is always the message with this card, the general message of this card, is that whatever you're comparing yourself to is just another version of you. It's either a higher or a lower version of you. So the only way to really react to whatever it is you're comparing yourself to is with grace and love and acceptance. Because it's just another version of you. If it's something better and you want to get there, then you can get there. If it's something worse and you don't want to be there, you've probably been there before in some way, in some fashion. Even if it isn't you being strung out on drugs, maybe you were strung out on work or, you know what I'm saying, or strung out on coffee. Like, it could be anything. But don't compare your journey to anybody else, especially in, um, in this first week of this month. Uh, this is feeling like, this is feeling like these are connecting for some reason. Like you're wanting to keep yourself away because you're comparing yourself to other people. You're wanting to isolate and not interact because you're you're feeling like you're less than, or you're feeling like there's not enough that you're doing, or something like that. But once you recognize that. Especially those of you who are watching this. And if you have a Libra friend, pass the message on. Once you recognize that um, what the whole comparison thing, once you recognize that your, your journey is pretty much the same as other people's journey, just in a different vibration, once you realize that and become one with it, that'll give you this sense of courage to push through, um, to push through this comparison. Like this feels like a really big theme this month. Libra it's feeling like you you're feeling kind of inadequate but that's that's not necessary first and foremost and that's not true um during dark nights of the soul it's easy to feel inadequate <laughs> it's easy to feel like you're not doing enough it's easy to give into those dark dark thoughts or whatever 
But if you have the courage to push through those dark thoughts, the, the dark thoughts are down here because the daisy starts out as a seed and it pushes its way through. It gets a little bit of water, a little bit of sunlight, you know, a little bit of enlightenment and it pushes itself through to continue to climb. So you're being encouraged. Whatever, whatever comparisons you're making to other people, you're being encouraged to push through all of that and to not give it the attention that it's asking for. Because it looks like it looks like there's something outside of you that wants to like get your attention in a negative fashion. And it's it's for some of you, it's getting your attention and it's doing its job. It's making you feel bad. But as I always say, <laughs> we're working on balancing ourselves. So whatever makes you feel bad, take it in, transmute it. If you don't know what transmutation is, look it up. But take that energy in, transmute it. Turn it into something that works for you. This is like another one of my big mantras that I'm going to start saying even more. Turn that darkness into something that works for you. Turn those negative thoughts and feelings and experiences into something that works for you. It's possible. And there's so many different ways to do it. Okay. So once you find that courage to, to push through these comparisons that you keep making to yourself and other people, once you get through all of that, then you'll have some kind of enlightening moment. There may be, there may be um, a standstill in your job, a standstill even in your creativity. I'm seeing people like laying in bed, like wondering what the next step is. I'm seeing people laying in bed wondering if they made the right decision. But whatever, whatever decisions that you have been making during the first week of the month, even this last week, I'm, I'm recording this October, end of the month, whatever you've experienced in the last, the last week of the month to the first week of the month is just bringing you here. Okay. It's bringing you to a new way of seeing things and a new way of, um, actually a new way of experiencing and, uh, you're going to be able to move forward during, after this period. Well, during this first week, during the end of this first week, it's feeling like there's, there's, gosh, it's just feeling like there's some kind of destiny. It's just feeling that like there's some kind of destiny that like carries you into the next week. So what does it do? Oh, so it's carrying you towards <laughs> it's carrying you towards something deliberate and something very joyful, something that it's hard to challenge. So there are some of you who have kind of been waiting for something like this, but there are some of you who have the tendency to say this is too good to be true. It's really not too good to be true. <laughs> it's not too good to be true. It seems that way. Because it's something that you've never experienced before. General reading, guys. However this pertains to your life. This is something that you haven't experienced before. And that's why it seems too good to be true. But remember that it's not. Remember that miracles happen. You can create miracles. You are a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle that you wake up every morning. But miracles do happen. New stuff does happen. Un inconceivable things happen. Things, excuse me, things that seem inconceivable happen so no comparison push through the the old your old thoughts of comparison oh my goodness it's like just so heavy like you guys are really comparing yourself to somebody else um then you'll find some kind of new vision that'll carry you into the next week to find your innocence and to find um a sense of joy and childlike happiness that is not too good to be true and that'll just take you probably general reading to some kind of dark night but it's looking like these burdens are letting go. It's looking like this dark night is not going to be as hard as it's been because this is upside down. The, this is your burdens are carrying you to, towards something specific. And this is hard. This is the hard work. It's hard when your burdens are doing anything, whether they're carrying you to a higher place or carrying you to a lower place, whatever it is. It's hard, but it's easing up. So whatever, after, after... The sun rises, the sun sets again. Sunrise, sunset. Light, top of the mountain, dark night of the soul. Top of the mountain, dark night of the soul. That's the endless cycle that we go through. But once after that, that bright thing that happens, 
again this dark night may come through but it's going to be simpler because it's feeling like you've learned something it's feeling like you've learned something um Gosh, it's looking like since August, Spirit is saying August, and then you had a lot of learning lessons also in September, and this first week of November is also going to be a learning process, but it's looking like you're on track. It's looking like you're on track because it's not so heavy anymore, and it may be a little simpler. This is choppy waters, usually in traditional decks. That's usually choppy waters, but reversed, it's a little easier. Things are becoming easier for you, and that, my friends, is an achievement. Six, achievement, always. End of the month. Oh, 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 don't stop this momentum from gaining by doubting, by doubting spirit, okay? Because this is happening. You're gaining some kind of momentum, but this can block it. When you have those thoughts of, <laughs> when you have those thoughts of less than, when you have low vibrational thoughts, when you're not in tune with the law of attraction and when you're vi when you're just not vibrating when you're not on the wavelength of what it is that you're desiring that's when the momentum stops or that's when the momentum is stagnant and with this card this is the unstoppable card this is one of the unstoppable cards the intensity card is also unstoppable it's the king of or knight of wands but this is unstoppable so stopping it this is like kind of fatal and this came out this way some of you are getting this energy, some of you are getting this energy, but I really want to focus on you not <laughs> on you not stopping this momentum because it's feeling like something is growing. But you have the tendency to just stop it because it seems like it's too good to be true. No, it's not too good to be true. Just allow the sun to rise over your situation. These two cards are always going to go together because this is the sun in traditional decks. And then I always say that because the sun is rising here over these mountains and the sun rising is unstoppable. You can't, you can't say, man, that sun ain't real and stop it from rising. You can't like you, you can say that, but then it's going to just shine even more brightly in your face and be annoying. Okay. So this is, this is the sun is going to shine more brightly in your face and be annoying. If you really don't believe that the momentum that you're gaining is real. If you really don't believe that the spiritual insights that you're gaining are real or this, this offer that's come in, it's real. It's, it's actually real. And so <laughs> know that it is, and it's not just like a fantasy. Like this is something that will be coming to fruition very, very, very soon for some of you general reading. Okay. So there's your gaining momentum. Gain the momentum. Came out this way, but we want to do this, okay? One advice card. Oh, whatever chaos is going on, be one with it. What? Oh my goodness. Whatever turmoil you're experiencing, hold, try holding hands with it. Try holding hands with it and try just simply observing it. And observe the chaos and be one with it. I'm going to finish up this reading over in the extended version. You can click that link right down below to get access to that. I'm Michaela Andromeda. This is Unicorn Funland. If you want to book a reading, go to unicornfunland.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop, come join my tribe. <laughs> I know, that was kind of long. And if you just want to holler at me, highpriestessmichaela at gmail.com. Other than that, click the link down below, get access to the extended version of this reading, and I will see you soon. Bye!